hi guys um i'm gonna do a what's in my makeup bag video um my makeup bag is a ted baker bag from boots it stores a lot in it i have a lot in it already so shall i show you let's get started and then i'll show you what i've got in here there's quite a few bits in here so first off i have the benefit dallas box blush looks like that I really like this, I use it today, it's like a contour shade or blusher. Next, I have the Laura Geller Balance in Brighton Powder Foundation in the shade Porcelain. Next, I have a False Lash Architect Mascara in black. love this one it's running out unfortunately next i have what i use for my eyeshadow which i love this i need to get a new one soon it's the mac prep and prime 24 hour extend eye base it's very lovely i love this one a lot i have a couple foundations here i'm trying to use up so i've got the naked skin foundation in the shade 2.0 Excuse the lighting, it's quite bright with the sun's out here in my room. I've got a window there. Another foundation is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Foundation in the shade, whoops, the shade NW15. I love this foundation, I'm wearing it today. Really nice. Next, we have the Bobbi Brown Tinted Eye Brightener in the shade Light Bisque. It's a little bit yucky because I took the stopper out to use the rest of the product up. I love this. This is lovely. Um, very brightening under the eyes. Gives, gives a nice bit of coverage. Really nice. What else? We do all the makeup first and the blushes last. I've got the Scandinavia Makeup Set and Spray in the small size. This is the original makeup spray. In, the original makeup saver use this love this what else do we have other blusher which is the Tarte exposed blusher looks like that very nice very natural I use it on the days where I don't want to wear a lot of makeup um, another powder in here because I'm realized that one was a little this one's a little bit too dark it's a silk edition by bourgeois in the shade 52 vanilla it looks like that comes with a swivel mirror too which is quite cool then we have my one of my favorite eyebrow gels which is the kiko eyebrow gel it's just like a clear gel love that stuff too very excessive with concealer i have to say <laughs> i've got the naked skin by urban decay this is the light neutral shade i wanted the fair neutral but i didn't have it i prefer the fair neutral shade i'd use this for um areas like spot concealing rather than under eyes i prefer the fair neutral for under eyes i do have that as a backup but I want to use this one first and I'll use the Bobbi Brown one for under my eyes anyway just to use it up. I then have the Stila Major Major Lash. I have a couple of mascaras in here to use up as a, at a time. I like I like the one but I like it to really sort of, I like the other one because it really sort of gets right to the root of the lash and lifts the lash. That's why I like that one. This is okay, wouldn't buy it again that one. Okay, let's have a look. Next, I have the Dolly Wink eyeliner, eyeliner pen. I love this. It's like a shake on the shaky ones. I love this. It's nearly run out. I've got two more eyeliners to use. Once they're done, I'm gonna repurchase this. I love it. It's so black. It's waterproof. It's great. So I would recommend this one a lot if you can get it on amazon really cheap if you're in the uk it's about 15 14 15 pounds on amazon for plus free shipping love it very nice okay 
came next. Let's get this one. Okay, so another mascara. It's the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Not in waterproof, just a normal one. Comes with a nice sort of curved brush. Very lovely. Gets in the, in the root of the lash. Very nice. Um, if you're in a pinch, definitely recommend this. You get it in your local Wilco. Very nice, that one. Okay. NYX Angel Veil vale Face Primer. I like this a lot. When I first got it, it was like liquidy. It was like separated, but now it's got a lot thicker, which is nice. Um, but I do, I like this one a lot. I'm just using it to use up. I will go on to my next one, which will be the Smashbox Hydrating Face Primer, which that is my favourite. Um, you can't go wrong with NYX. I've got numerous things from NYX, which I've got something in my makeup bag at the, um, that I'm using as bronzer. I love it that at the moment. Nyx, you can't go wrong. Recommend Nyx to anybody. Um, let's have a look what else we, we have in here. Next is the Brows A Go Go. I've had this for ages but I haven't used it because I had my brows browsings palette. Now as you can see I don't really use the wax. I prefer to use the the powder as you can see. I use this one there in like in the mid like the ends here and sort of in the front and then at the along the ends I use the darker shade and then I set it with brow gel that's all I use really because I'm not really I don't really like sort of the waxes make me makes my makes my eyebrows feel a bit weird so if that makes sense. Um next we have the stuff I also use at the moment this this is great this is the Dior lip glow this is a cool shade but I love the pink one too I have literally that much left of it I love this very moisturizing gives you a hint of color smells wonderful and very nice. I love this. We recommend it if you can afford it. Um, I was lucky enough to receive it when I worked for Dior um, as part of my uh, allowance, my allocation. So I really like this. Um, these are nice. I've got a pink one and a like a lighter purple one, lilac one to use up. If I use those, I'll probably go and repurchase it again in the in the pink formula. I love it. I always have that in my makeup bag. Okay, next thing. This is Taylor's loads. Um, the NARS eyeshadow in Abyssinia, and I use this to set my primer, the Mac primer. And hello, and I love this. It's really nice. Just literally just put the primer all over, and just literally just dust this all over from brow to up to the lid and then it just sets the eyeshadow primer in place doesn't crease and then go in with my eyeshadows um let's see what else we've got in here these i have in here because i wanted to try them out and i've had these for a while but i haven't used them because i wanted i watched it's sabrina or is it love laugh and makeup i love her channel she's amazing so i wanted to try these because of her um, so I have the this one in Radiant Rose. Comes like that. I've used this one for my under eyes. Both these are used for my under eyes and to highlight basically. And then this one is the yellow one, which is in a light boost. Now I love these. Once I use these up, I'm going to repurchase them. They're really nice. It gives a nice bit of coverage, but they're very light. It's similar to the Dior Air Flash pen, but this is cheaper. You can find other drugstore sort of alternatives, um, like the Instant Age Rewind, which I like too, but I love these. If you like to treat yourself, recommend the these MAC Prep and Prime pens. Okay, we're nearing the end. What else do we have? This is what I'm telling you about, the NYX um, 
other NYX product I love, which is the NYX Blush in Taupe, but I use it as a bronzer. Now, you can see from, from there, you can see it's got a little bit of a dent in it. I use it as a bronzer, just on the to contour around the face, and I would use the Dallas just to like warm the face up because I'm a little bit pale. But I love this. Once I hit pan on it, I'm going to repurchase. Let's see. What anyway, else do we have in here? Loads of bits in here. <laughs> Next is the Revlon Colour Stay Lip Liner in the shade Blush. Um, really nice pencil. It's got still a lot in left in there. I use it to line my lips and then sometimes I would use the Dior Lip Glow um, just to add a little bit of colour to the lips and just to really sort of blend it out. And then I have the Kiko Natural Concealer which again is a pinky concealer. Again I took stopper out just to get my product out and I use this as well underneath my eyes. I switch between the two. I do find though that this one doesn't give as much of a coverage sorry I just put it back in there doesn't give as much of a, of a coverage as the um, as the Bobbi Brown one um, but it is nice just to put on your there just to brighten um, next thing is brushes now I have a mismatch of brushes let's see loads of brushes here <laughs> the rest is just stuff I have in here um, that I just put in here if I was going to use it I'm just going to show you these on the floor I have the oh, hang on it <laughs> I have the Sigma eye shading E55 brush which I have I've had this for ages The, I got this in a advent calendar, the Lip Fantastic one. This is the eyeshading brush by Look Good Feel Better. This is what I use for concealer at the moment, which is a small little Chanel foundation brush. I use it for underneath my eyes. Not, it's not special. Um, the Coastal Scents, like the MAC, what's that one called? 217? That one. It's a lot cheaper with that. The Kiko blender brush, which I use for my um, NARS shadow. The Revolution E103, again just for in the crease blending. My Blush Professional, which is like I think I've got this from Amazon in, this, in a set, brush set, for my eyebrows. I use this just to fill in my eyebrows. I really like this. Love the angle brushes to, to, to fill in my eyebrows with. Um, I have the Real Techniques um, Dura Fiber Contour Brush, which I'd use for my contour, obviously. The Real Techniques Powder Brush, which I use for my powder and just to bronze the face. I love this as well. It's, a bit, it's very dirty. Sorry, I used it today. My Sigma F80 Black Kabuki Brush. I've had this for ages as well, but I love this. Really nice blends blends the foundation. I prefer brushes to sponges because I can't be faffed with the wetting it and stuff. It's just too 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 much effort. And then I have the this is a cheap one as well, which is the it thinks from um, Lang Royal and Lang Nickel, I think. And then this is the flat contour brush, which I use for my blusher. Now that is everything guys, I hope you enjoyed my video, um, obviously with eyeshadows they switch up all the time, um, I tend to just chuck in each time I wear the eyeshadow, chuck in the eyeshadow and wear that for the day and then switch it out for something else so I'm using all my eyeshadows, um, but that's the only thing that really changes, everything else just stays the same. Um, if there's any other sort of videos you want to see from me then please let me know and sorry about the lighting I'm still trying still new to this sort of thing so um 
thanks so much for watching and take care bye